If we wear this, what's it replace? Nothing. Okay, well, let's wear it then. That means we can make another pocket uh, for this. <laughs> Look at us. Look at us in our purple kilt, man. We're pretty badass looking, aren't we? <laughs> Not. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is... Whoa, shit. Uh, the... Okay, we don't want this guy... Hitting us, because we could get infected. Uh, level 7, there we go. Uh, this is the Wasteland series. I'm an old guy gaming. I think I already said that, didn't I? <laughs> uh, well, let's pause the map, just in case something jumps us. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. This entire map is a wasteland with one small green biome somewhere on the map that we're looking for, but we don't know where the hell it is. And, um, that's what we're about. So, we we looted this uh, junkyard, the yard itself, um, overnight. And we ran into a little bit of bad luck because we got rushed by um, some feral zombies and a cop. Uh, we actually managed to kill the cop, but uh, the feral zombies eventually got to us. So we came back and we were a little bit more careful. And we and we ended up looting the, the whole rest of the junkyard outside. But now what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to loot the inside of the junkyard, and then you know depending upon how our time goes, uh, we'll go back to our base and we'll consolidate all of our loot, decide what we're going to take with us, and then get ready to head out and go on the road basically. Um, looking for that green biome. But we do have a horde night coming up tonight too, so we're going to have to hang out here uh, for that horde night and, um, you know, wait that, wait out that until it, it gets over. So it will be tomorrow morning when we actually sit out, if all goes to plan, according to plan. The other thing that I want to do uh, is I want to wrench all the cars in the area um, before we leave and use the resources from that to make a whole bunch of Molotov cocktails. Okay, so um, with that being said, uh, we do this map, by the way, is generated by Nitrogen. And if you guys are interested in playing on it, I do have a link in the video description uh, that you can download the map from a Google Drive folder. Um, all I ask is that if you do, uh, make sure you don't give me any spoilers, okay? Uh, do not tell me where the green biome is or where the mega city is um, if you do that, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go, here we go. Um, there's a couple things over there we still didn't get to. Um, I'd like to not have openings that these guys can just walk through. There's one over there too, but I think we're probably okay. You know, one of the things that I really want uh, to find as much as we can is ammo, of course. And we have, you know, a decent supply of ammo when we go out on the road. And I'm probably going to be a little more selective about which POIs we end up looting when we are on the road. Because I want to concentrate on trying to find the green biome. But if we come across a POI, particularly one that I'm familiar with and I know where the end loot is, uh, you know, we'll, we'll probably try and go straight to the end loot. Okay, so it looks like some Zeekers um, opened the door. Uh, let's see, junk turret ammo over here. So let's just kind of peek on in here and see what's what. All right, we're going to block that off and we're going to block this off. But I don't think I'm going to upgrade those in case we need to make a hasty exit. Make sure all my weapons are loaded here. Okay. Get to check this bookshelf. Uh, all right. Well, that'll come in handy. What, what does that take to make, by the way? Five steel glue. Oh, we could, damn, we could make that right now. Probably be a little while before we run into radiateds, but we are in the wasteland biome after all. Okay, we're 
already know that, so let's scrap that. Uh, scrap this. I was going to make a drop chest, too, and I forgot. We, we're probably going to have to do that. Uh, scrap the chairs. Okay, let's just block that off for the moment. This is going to make a lot of noise. Alright, we got somebody's attention somewhere. Probably up above us. I'm guessing. Sounds like he's trying to break the window. Oh, there he is. Let's uh, upgrade this too. We have to get out of here in a hurry. We're just going to have to stand our ground. Dude, you're feral. What the hell, man? The night's over. You're supposed to go to sleep. No ferals allowed in the daytime. I don't think he got the memo. Oh, he's not feral. I swore I saw glowing eyes on that guy. Okay. Since we have the axe out, let's get some more cloth, because why not? Okay, so there's a kitchen in here. And there's a safe in that room. Inventory is full. All right. Uh, are we thirsty? Not a whole bunch, but let's just drink anyway. I'll freeze up one slot. Put a dog out there. All right. So, is there a sleepy in this room? This room has a safe in it, and we have. I thought we had some lockpicks. Do we not have any lockpicks? Maybe we do, and I left them back at the the base. Okay, this room's clear. Let's just block that off. Oh, I do have lock picks. I've got two of them. All right, let's see if we can lock out here. If not, we'll have to whack on it. Come on, man. Oh, you son of a. All right, I'll see you guys in 10 years from now. Okay, here we go. We got Fido's attention there. Um, I think he's going to be on the ground, but let's just put that up just to be on the safe side. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Ooh, that's some nice stuff. Okay. Let's grab these two first, and we'll grab that, and yeah, we'll grab those. And we'll go to... Uh, here, modify those down there and modify. Um, okay, so that frees us up um, or opens up a few more slots for us. Now, um, wooden bow. Here, let's turn this into junk turret ammo. That gives us three spots there. Uh, is this better than what we have? Uh, 
Looks like they're exactly the same. Okay. So this one has a little bit more durability on it. Fido. Okay. Um... I mean, these, these aren't really worth anything to us. We should scrap those and probably should scrap that too. I think. Well, let's just grab it and we'll take it with us. Okay, we got somebody's attention. Oh, look at you, man. somebody over here might as well take advantage of the single block here to take this guy out too two of them I don't have enough stamina to do a power attack we're probably gonna have to put some points in a sexy T at some point so many things that we need to get Come on, man. Let's get some, get some stamina back there. Okay, she's dead. Crossbow bolt to the face there, Edgar. He dropped a bag. What do we got? What do we got? All right. Uh, we'll scrap that. That's pretty good stuff. Um. All right. Here. Let's do this. Let's put you and you in there and grab you two. Let's put you in there and grab you. I'll pr I might come back for that stuff, and I might not. Actually, you know what we could do, too? We could turn those into... Yeah, that freezes up one slot. Between the two of these, I think I'd take the lead. All right. What we need to do... Is there any zombies in this room? I don't think there are. We need to make a drop chest because I am so full of stuff right now. I don't have any money for the vending machine. Okay, that's it for in here. So yeah, let's go let's go outside and make a drop chest. And then we'll go into the, the big part of the building and finish that up. <laughs> I've got so much shit in my inventory. Oh man, okay. I need a container somewhere. That's not a container here. Let's just put a few things in here.
All right, let's drop a whole bunch of crap off. Anything that we don't need to be carrying with us right now. What the hell's going on? Why do I have... Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so this brown sledge is actually better than the orange sled. Sledge, rather. I said sled, didn't I? So let's switch over. It's not going to have as much durability, but... It's got eight more points of melee and power attack damage than this guy does. All right. half of these waters in here too so in case we find more and we'll put the bow in there i think we're good i think i want to keep everything else with me okay let's finish this last building here and then we'll be done with this place Oh, we've got a second floor here, too, don't we? Yeah, let's go up here. All right, got a Kim bench, but we already know to make one of those now which was a nice find a couple episodes ago Grab that faucet and make some bra uh, make some brass out of it. I'm gonna scrap it though. Got lots of pipes already. Uh, might go ahead and hang on to the springs, I guess, for the moment. And we're gonna have a bunch of empty jars too. But that's okay because. Molotov cocktails or what we can make out of that. All right, what do we got in here? Another, <laughs> another one. Okay, well, we already know this, so we're going to scrap that. Whoops. Oh, we don't have room. Man, brass takes like for freaking ever to scrap. All right. Okay, I don't think there's anything on the roof. There might be a bird's nest up here, though, so let's just take a peek. Yeah, there is a bird's nest. That's a lot of nice brass radiators there. Oh, excuse me, you guys. I'm going to bed after this episode. I'm tired. Probably should have gone to bed after the last one, but I wanted to I wanted to finish this up, so. Okay. Let's see what we got going on in here. There's a the big mama. Alright. We 
we just scrap that, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. What does this give us? Oh. It gives us iron ingots. That's awesome. Iron ingots right now mean repair kits, essentially. <laughs> Electrical parts are just not something we need right now. Okay, so we've got a big mama down here. Uh, it doesn't matter which one of these we use. They're both the same. Is she the only Zeker down here, though? We could have another one below us, but let's go ahead and get her going. Check the lockers, suit jacket, and a padded hood. Not as good as what we have, so we'll scrap that. If we wear this, what's it replace? Nothing. Okay, well, let's wear it then. That means we can make another pocket uh, for this. <laughs> Look at us. Look at us in our purple kilt, man. We're pretty badass looking, aren't we? <laughs> Not. Oh well. This is the apocalypse. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? A couple lock picks there. Some gasoline, a chair. Nothing down that way. We're gonna wrench that uh, transformer. Uh, I thought there was a like a tool crate or something up here, like a working steps but maybe not maybe not it's a trash up here okay here quit doing this the hard way uh scrap that and scrap that There we go. Nice. Damn, four forged steel out of that. Sweet. That's nice, man. All right, so um, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and wrench cars. We're going to wrench all the cars in this junkyard and all the cars in the junkyard where our base is. And if we still have time, more cars. And then we're going to make as many Molotov cocktails as we can from the stuff. And then we're going to figure out what, uh, what do we get out of this? We're going to figure out what we're going to take with us and kind of get that ready to go. And then, um, depending upon, you know, what time it is and whatnot, I might mine up some stone and make a whole shitload of stone crossbow bolts. And we'll use those to try and, uh, you know, kill as much horde as we can tonight. That's the plan, Stan. That is the plan, my man. Give me some more water. Stamina's cap is kind of getting low there a little bit.
Do we have a point? We do have a point. Look at that. Um, this might be a good time for salvage operations. Uh, but before we take that, what else? What else? If we're gonna mine up some stone later, mother load would be good. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that eventually. We can't take uh, the next level in Master Chef until. Oh, I know what we were gonna do. We've got that. We've got uh, uh, an effective level three in agility. So Shadower, hide the shadows 26% more efficiently. Noise reactions are muffled 20%. Stink moves 20% faster. We do. I did say I wanted to do a stealth build. Okay, where are we at with strength? Uh, Skull Crusher number two needs strength level three. Man, there's so many. There's so many things that we could get. You know what I mean? What's this need? That needs strength level three too, doesn't it? Well, uh, damn. Got healing factor. We could make a forge, too. I mean, that's definitely useful, but I don't. I, I don't know. The way we're playing this particular game, I don't think that's something we need. We we should do right now. Okay, so maybe we take advantage of our agility extra bonus there, and we just get a little more sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Now, hidden strike. What's that do? extra 50% damage boy that's that's damn useful too it really really is <sighs> what to do what to do what to do archery would be good because we are using our crossbow a little bit more 10% more damage th with that next level of lucky looter requires oh only perception too for that mm. okay well you know what we're going to wrench a bunch of cars Let's take this. There we go. It's decided. Okay, so guys, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I think we're gonna wrap up this episode. We're it's getting pretty damn close anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna go around. Let's see, it's 10:54, so we got a lot of time. So I'm basically gonna just spend most of the rest of this day, this in-game day, wrenching cars, and then you know come along, you know, towards evening. We'll uh, we'll be back at the base, and we'll you know we'll kind of start trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Uh, in terms of what we're going to take with us. And then we'll have the Horde Knight to deal with. And I'm almost thinking I might actually do the Horde here. As opposed to our other junkyard. Um, actually, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. Because, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. We'll probably just do it at our other junkyard. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.